Welcome back, guys. Uh, my name is Keegan from Name Race Class, uh, or NRC, or whatever you want to call us. You know the drill. Um, playing the council still. Uh, episode 2. Still kind of confused on what's going on. I mean, we're only in, like, we're still on episode 1 of this game, episode 2 of the series. Uh, I just learned that I could investigate stuff, so that's cool. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, oh I got more royal jelly. Nice. So it's kind of cool that I uh, found out that you can search for stuff, because I would have... Uh, who knows? See, I kept seeing this Some stuff rope. on the ground, this little, like, high Apparently stuff. no one's touched for a good long time. Lantern. Nothing special. Okay. Let's see what's hidden inside. Ah, one of the letters Ooh. is stamped with the seal of the order. And I recognize your handwriting anywhere, Mother. But who is this Samuel Ritter Doshua? Who are you writing to? I don't recognize the name. Let's see what's inside this letter. So, Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly. Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets. Always more secrets. You never talk to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Ritter? Yeah, it was coded. For crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think. Godoy, Godoy. Manuel Godoy. Why does that name sound so familiar? I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Oh, that's okay. Let's see what's hidden inside. Oh, do you just... Let's look. Oh, okay. Letter written in an Oriental language. Huh. I don't have the slightest idea of what it says. I'm just glad that when you like don't know what it is, it like responds with a logical answer. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. Too badly written, I, I can't make out the address. <laughs> the address is 50 Bedford Square, London. Interesting. Not really. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. This name nope, sounds familiar. Pashi. No. Can't seem to place it. Interesting. Probably a Dutchman. <laughs> An address in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. Yeah, he seems like an influential man. Alright, I'm done there. Anything else? kind of nitpicking now because I really want to get a uh, pretty decent ending on my first run through so looks like I got everything though so so I think in that Royal Jill is the only way to get ever points back in Latin lesson. inscription and Nessis mi fili quantilia produncia mundus vergatur hmm 
Yeah, because I still can do that. Go up to the manor. Ooh, nice looking manor. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? I don't know. Ask him yourself. It's not bad looking. I like the door. Oh, it's a dog statue. Oh, several dog statues. My guess is they're gonna treat me really friendly in the beginning and then like total dicks later. Is that like Zeus or Impressive. something? Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, your eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Ricci, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Confrontation. Ooh, okay. During confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontation has consequences. On the rest of your story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Each confrontation displays an interface showing how much the person you are talking to is convinced. Ooh. These are gonna be tricky. Okay. Oh, thank you, my son. Bullshitting power is good. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah. You only knew my son. I hold your mother in the highest of God. She has rendered <laughs> great service to the church and her help is in oh. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet and I should like them to remain as such. If your I'm mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, her, yeah. I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. Uh, you said you work together. What do you do exactly? If you know my mother, you will understand that I cannot answer you, your eminence. I'm sorry, but... Do not worry, my son. I perfectly understand, and I expected nothing less from you. Discretion and secrecy are both pillars of the organizations for which we work. You are the worthy son of Sarah. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, your eminence. Is there any other solution? Look. If it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me, and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Only you know that, Your Eminence. If you're asking me if you can trust me, or if I can keep a secret, I would answer yes, absolutely. I understand. In truth, it all depends on the nature of the contents of your letter. 
It is a list of names. This list must be of extreme importance. Ah, if only you knew. It's a list of people that your mother must help. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother would read it? Ooh, for the last conversation, you must convince the person you're talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step you'll step will repeat itself until you either give a right one or you have no blunders left so it's not through a lack of goodwill but i'd rather swear by something else bah, i beg your pardon i mean to be honest with you and for my promise to keep all its value, I assure you, it would be better if I didn't swear before God. I shall swear upon my mother's life, if you prefer. Are you aware, in Norbit, of what you just said to me, young man? I swear by the Almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. So I thought because Lee's game likes to tell you a little bit before the conversation actually takes place, I thought it was going to say like, oh, like, no, like, uh, thank you, I will, or something like that. No, it took a completely wrong direction. I'm going to tell you a oh. secret, Monsieur de Riche. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Huh. Well, interesting. Okay. So he doesn't like being questioned. Interesting. Lord, Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Okay, now it's a time where you like, Blind look Oedipus. at like everything. Blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. Fall of the Damned by Rubens. The man who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. Looks comfortable. Hmm. Certainly looks like a party. Oh, okay. I don't want to go there just yet. Oh, my goodness. Saturn devouring his son. Good God, how awful. Everything in this painting is disturbing. It's the first time I've seen brushstrokes like this. Oh, who's Saturn in the Greeks and the mythology again? Uh, I don't remember the god's name off the top of my head. Crucifixion of St. Peter. He was crucified upside down out of humility. Surprising for an entrance hall. 
crucified upside down. Interesting. I've just arrived. It might be bad manners to go upstairs without being invited. The atmosphere really looks really cool. I'm thinking that's supposed to be Zeus. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. cool so you find manuscripts you take you can take them and then you can learn okay interesting so oh interesting interesting I thought my chimney nah. was big but this one is beyond belief it's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monsignor His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simple. George Washington. President of the United States oh. of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. <gasps> Pleased oh, to meet you, Mr. My President. Gosh. Louis Moras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right wow. about here. Speak for yourself, Takes sir. place quite a while ago. <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Good Lord, Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friend. Holy shit, that's the man for my vision. 
An urgent case has delayed our host, oh Lord my God. Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here, and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, <laughs> Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Let's see what Washington has to say. I sir, think it's better if to you like don't mind, gain friends. I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you when I arrived. Okay. So, to be scared, George Washington is one of the founding fathers of the first president of the United States. Yeah. Uh, Washington shared his life between military and political issues. Very early on, he was introduced by Sarah de Ricci into the super circles of intelligence secret society from France, the Golden Order. He later took the hell of American branch, tired of politics, he wanted to retire to his property in Virginia, but this was without taking the account of Lord Mortimer. He was encouraged by him to come out of retirement on the advice of his friend. He ran second term and was successful. Right over more over to his island. Incognito. Interesting. My gosh, are you ugly. Whew. Baron of Nottingham. Interesting, very... Wow, they have, like, everybody here from, like, history really known. Um, for loyal to Sir Gregory Holmes, spent his career in a in kingdom throughout the world. Trading company... Okay. This morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. Lord Mortimer is a remarkable man. He's wealthy, and is advisor to the very highly placed. Your mother is the head of the Order in France. It doesn't surprise me that he asked her to come. Lord Mortimer greatly contributed to financing my electoral campaign, for example. But I want this to be clear, without ever seeking to gain an advantage. And that is to his credit. Yes, you can trust him. He will do everything in his power to help you find Sarah. Mr. Washington, mm. you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Where did you first meet her? I met Sarah during the War of Independence on American soil. She was introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance and I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. She may not be a soldier, but believe me, she deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. Well, I didn't see that one coming. There's no doubt Mother has many secrets that are still hidden. <laughs> right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about?
When she came to the U.S., did you exchange ideas about the Golden Order? Exactly. What's more, she was essential in helping set up the American branch of the Order. I would never have become its leader without her help. We are a new country. And to achieve our democratic ideals, we need to count on discreet powers such as our organization. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve, and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Careful, they're coming back. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Sir Hall, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. On that note, it's very late. You must hmm. be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. Interesting. Interesting. What does it say about Elizabeth Adams? Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oh, Elizabeth Adams, honor of John Adams, vice president. Oh, interesting. Elizabeth was rejected by both her parents at birth and was declared stillborn. In isolation, she grew up feeling with bipolar disorder, devoured by terrible fits of anxiety. Her deepest friend of Sir Gregory Helm and Lord Mortimer decided to send his daughter to Lord Mortimer and hope that he could help her. Ooh, wow. That's weird. Okay. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, your eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. 
It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? They did like put like so everybody. That sounds familiar, but I don't know where from. Hmm. A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. if you like actually get to read the pages once you like when you choose to read them you know what I'm saying huh kind of surprise Johann van Wulne. See, these names I know from, from history, but some of them just elude me and I don't know what they are. And it's kind of. Ooh. Coin collection. Interesting. Go to your room. Not after I investigate. Until, not until I investigate. What am I saying? This is the end of the quarter. He's talking about just a really long quarter. More collector's coins. Interesting. I wonder what they're for. George Washington. His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Huh, that's me.
Duke Manuel Godoy. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Biagi's trust. What should I do?